Hey everybody, thanks for checking back in today. I really appreciate it. So today what we're doing is we're pouring some patio stones or concrete blocks, whatever you want to call them. Now, I know they're not that expensive to go and buy in store, but the reason I'm doing this is along my fire pit in the back corner, uh, just along the fence, I've got some uh, extra space that I've been putting some stones. I had just been buying them. Um, in this case, I had the concrete, I had the melamine. So I figured I'd just go ahead and make them myself. But in this one, uh, this guy here, I literally just demolded right now. This one's from my parents. Uh, it's kind of a really long, oblong shaped triangle. Now, you can't really buy that one in store. So if you guys have any odd shapes or something like that that you may need, can't find it in store, go ahead and make it yourself. I had a whole bunch of like partially used bags of concrete, so I figured I had the melamine, might as well do it. Let's follow along. I'll show you exactly how I did this. First step, obviously, make our molds. So I've got three quarter inch melamine here. I'm using three quarters as opposed to five eighths. It's just a little bit more structurally rigid uh, if you're making larger stones. Now, cut them out to whatever shape or size that you need to. And then for your side walls, go ahead and cut a bunch of strips down to two and three quarter inches because we're making a three quarter inch slab. We're attaching it to the side. So it will take up obviously three quarter inches of the material thickness as well. Use whatever met cutting methods you guys have available. And you can see how here how it fits together. Now to attach them, pre-drill your holes because this melamine will split and crack on you in a heartbeat if you don't. So pre-drill, and then I'm using inch and five eighths uh, drywall screws to attach it. You want to screw about every six to eight inches. So in my case, I've got 12 inch stones. So two screws is perfectly fine. Now on your long stone here or a big stone or a heavy stone or something like that, um, if you're worried about the edges pushing apart, just put a screw in the top corner of your um, sides there and it'll help actually stop them from bowing outwards. Now just a final clean with rubbing alcohol and a paper towel make sure you get the sides and the bottom. This will just make them nice and clean take some paste wax and we're just going to apply paste wax to it. My wax is nothing more than just an automotive paste wax it doesn't matter what kind you use just wax the molds and that will help the silicone and uh, the concrete pull away from it later on. Now just go ahead and use 100% silicone in your edges, not a silicone caulk or anything like that, 100% silicone. Uh, I'm just using what I had laying around, it's transparent so unfortunately you guys can't really see it, but just lay a nice thin continuous bead and I'm just using my finger to wipe it off. You can use round over tools if you want, but it's just a patio stone so I'm not worried about it. If it's got a couple little imperfections in it, I'm not worried. Once it's smooth, just go ahead and give it a couple hours to dry before you actually put any concrete in it. Make sure that before you pour your concrete, your molds are level in every direction because this stuff will flow to the lowest point, obviously. And here, do as I say, not as I do. Wear a dust mask, please. That was with water in the bucket already. It kicks up a lot of dust. When you're adding your water, add it incrementally because it won't take much and all of a sudden you'll have way too much water in your concrete mix so uh, I've just got a paddle mixer here on my drill I'm mixing about a third of a bag at a time if you have more concrete than that you may want to look at a different way of mixing it because you will burn out a drill real fast then just literally dump it into the mold and start tapping with a hammer Again, this is the bottom side, so it's not a big deal what it really looks like. You could screed it if you want, but it's not a big deal. Right here, you'll really see how fast this stuff self-levels. Just a few taps of the hammer, and it flattens out real fast. So this is another reason why you want to make sure it's level. And for your big stone, obviously, I didn't mix enough of it to fill the whole thing at once. That would have taken way too much. Uh, so my, for my first pour here, I'm just pushing it around into all my corners, just making sure it got into everywhere. Um, that way just my whole top surface will be one single pour. Then just add the rest of it and go to tap down.
After a few hours, once the tops of the stones start to set up, I'm just going to spritz them with water. It'll just help stop them from drying out. If you want to, you can cover them with a tarp and that'll hold in moisture as well. After 48 hours letting them dry, it's time to demold. So pull all your screws and just slowly pull away all of your side pieces. Now, if it is kind of binding up for some reason, make sure if you're going to pry it, you pry wood against wood. Do not pry against the concrete because the concrete is still super soft at this point. And then just take a sanding sponge and soften those corners. So if you notice, I'm sanding from the corner into the center of the stone. Now that's because if you were to kind of sand all willy nilly because the stone is still so soft, you may actually risk blowing out the corner. So sand from the, the corner of the stone into the center of the stone. There it is. Yeah, not 100% perfect. Uh, I'm not worried about it, it's just a patio stone, but it has been unusually humid here, so I could have let it sit for an extra day. On the big guy, you've got nice long sides, just slowly pull them away. And then pull the top off, and it should come off nice and easy, and there it is. Okay guys, now one thing to keep in mind too is mine is just a triangle, but it's still, I've got one side that's longer than the other. So um, if you guys have a bit more of a complex shape or something like that that you might be pouring, this method pours in the reverse cast. In other words, it's upside down. So one thing you want to keep in mind is when you cut out your shape for your piece, go ahead and flip it over. Make sure it's backwards. So that way when you go and attach your walls and you pour your concrete, you're pouring it upside down technically when you flip the stone back over and you pull it out of the mold you have the correct shape stone all that's left is to take your stones and install them in their new respective homes now again these ones were just kind of filler blocks nothing fancy or special here but gets the job done uh, the other triangle block it turned out absolutely awesome sitting in front of my parents house in front of the deck that i built them so it looks really really good now if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe I really appreciate you guys watching. If you guys know somebody that might need this, share it around, send it to them. I really appreciate it. See you guys in the next one.